What is going on, guys? It's Taylor. And it's your boy, Dre. And what time is it, Dre? <laughs> it's X-Men time. It's That's time right. to talk about the show that is making waves on social media, all, all the things. Uh, part two, I hate that they broke this up. I still, I'm going to sit by this. They should have put all this in one big package. I, I'll even go as far as saying so they should have put all three, the last three episodes of X-Men, part one, two, and three, one big package, and they should have shown it in theaters. I would have shown up to theaters to go see it. I think a lot of people have shown up in theaters. Like a simultaneous release kind of thing. X Night, yeah, and then like make use of theaters, like just kind of switch it up. I would, I would have definitely been glad to sit down and. I mean, how 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 fun would have been to be in a theater when all the shit goes down when like they rip rip um, really rip uh, Wolverine's and out of his skin. They fucking people show up, you know, people get taken out. Like when even last episode when the 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 EMP goes off and then like if there's like a small break like after that, it was like it was like what? Yeah, Yeah, that would have been so much fun. I would have loved it. I think it would have been like an experience because because we see this and we watch X Men out in the comfort of our homes on your yeah. tablets, whatever. That's fun, but seeing it with like a bunch of people around, like cheering and like being happy and like all talking about comic books together, like yeah, it would it would have been great. It would have so, been a great experience. With that experience, with that being said, with this is not going to do it, not going to do it this time. But at next Comic Con, they sh- they need to have a three part like watching the last the together, right? They have to. Oh yeah, yeah. It's something. In fact, when you say that, I. I I've seen a like a lot of movies pre and then post uh-huh. that been out for years, but in Comic Con, seeing it with a bunch of people that all enjoy it just as much as you do, yeah, is a different experience than seeing it by yourself at home. So yeah, it made it worth our experience. But we're talking about X Men, Extinct Tolerance. What's this called? Tolerance, tolerance is, is extinction, extinction is part, part two. two. Um, Did we, we ever talk about what that means? Like the ton- tolerance is is the extinction. I, I don't even know what it means. <laughs> like, if, if, you, if, you, if you look at it, like, as far as a like, tolerance, like, what? Oh, the, yeah. Is, is, it, is it, like, the human tolerating, mutants or mutants tolerating, no, mu- mutants uh, tolerating humans, like, which, I, which I, way does that go? I, I think you hit on it in the head. It's a double entendre, what you're saying, because cause Bastion already said at some point that, like, tolerating mutant extinction, or tolerating mutant, bleh, <laughs> mutants are always going to become mutants. Like, more and more people, mutants are going to rise over time, and eventually... The human race is going to become, or sorry, the, the, nor- the nor- nor- normies are going to become the minorities, and they'll be yeah. the one bullied, right? And but then on the, on the flip side, it works the other way, where like if we let humans be, this is what they're going to do. They're going to call people like Bastion. They're going to wipe us out. Mm-hmm. So us tolerating them is just a, it's just a powder keg for them to really, you know, turn on. So it's a, I, I think it's going to go th- that way with it. That it, it did it did show too in this episode where like. Last last episode, like Magneto, like humans, who many humans were always taking looking up for the the only the way the reason to hate mutants go back to hate mutants. They they tolerated them, you know, they, until they they found out Professor X was wasn't a lot wasn't dead. Then they turn on them right away. Yeah, and so we see you know the humans turning the humans that aren't Sentinels, um, turning on. Um, we saw Jubilee and and Sunspot kind of running for their lives, and Storm and Forge had to show up and help them out. Or even like yeah, before that. Um... His mom yeah. was like, "Mother of the year." Mother was like, "Yo, you need to, you know, turn yourself. I, we love you and all, but it's time to put this collar back on you. It is what it is." Yeah. So, like, yeah, that that's what they're saying. Like, you know, if, if even the ones who are quote unquote not sentinels will still side with like the, I guess, mutant racist. You gonna call them? Or, yeah. Yeah. Or the the OZT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, yeah, they're still down with those. They're still down with OZT. OZT. Yeah, you know me. It doesn't matter if they're signals or not. They're like they're down. They're with it. Like, okay, that sounds good to me. I'm with you. So yeah, I mean, the reason to hate. Yeah. So, so they're with that regardless. So it's that's what you. So you're right on the tolerance is exten- extinction. I, I want to say existence in my head every time I read it. And I have to yeah. actually read it. But yeah, tolerance is it ex- fucking Christ. <laughs> tolerance is extinction. So that's the that's what that means. But yeah. Um, so well, yeah. in this episode, we did see the kind of the the story, kind of the, the following along of the Fatal Attractions, and then hinting at future other arcs such as the Onslaught. Yeah, which, yeah, they really is... we put the hel- they put the helmet on <laughs> Professor X, right? It's just like one wink away from its Onslaught. Yeah, like they can't hint it. No, you know, they're not going to go that route. Are they? Is that that's what they're, they're just hinting at so much? Yeah, they're trying to like are they, are they testing the waters to see how they. Well, I'm, I'm sure season two's already been written already. I, yeah, I, I, it has it's already been written. Um, possibly season three is up in the air. Yeah, Maybe we'll see. I mean, yeah, that they very much hinted at. Because they, they really hinted at Xavier taking the extreme route, like because you know typically Xavier just gives his speeches, 
Yeah. Uh, but we saw it this time, like, like you went Magneto's, to battle. Yeah, Magneto's not having it anymore. Like, no more speeches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speeched out. We put the medal over now. So, like, you know, now we're at the point where he's actually, Professor X is trying to take the extreme measures. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, so I mean, if I had to guess what's going to happen, because we saw, okay, so what we see is Jean Grey about, either bit it or is about to bite it. Yeah. It hi- highly implies that she bit it, but if she hadn't, she's about to. Um, we see Wolverine uh, going the route of fatal attraction where he loses his adamantium for a bit yep. and goes back to his regular skeleton and kind of, be, kind of becomes like a brutal savage for quite a bit. He goes Berserker Wolverine. Yeah, Berserker Wolverine. Then he eventually becomes like a... Or they do they try to, they, they try to put his adamantium back in him before he's a horseman, right? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I know he becomes a horseman and then goes berserk. But I can't remember if they put the adamantium in him or left it out. But anyway... So we see that, uh, we see Professor X like probably drawn, driven to like the point of insanity. So I, what I see this happening is that Professor X goes insane. He shows like his Omega level powers. Mm-hmm. Even though he has that helmet on, he's still gonna manage to pull it off. Like probably wipe Xavier or sorry Magneto's mind, reverse all the things that because you have to undo. In fact, there's no route where you just leave the world in like in the state it is. Where like yeah. We just don't use electricity anymore. No, they're mm-hmm. going to have to undo. Either Magneto's going to have to, like, you know, I changed my mind. I'm going to do it, but I don't see that happening. So it's going to have to go the route of uh, Professor X wipes Magneto's mind and then undoes it or takes his powers or, like, does something where they're both in a coma for a bit. And then we have the birth of, like, some uh, cartoon X-Men 97-ish version of Onslaught. It's mm-hmm. where I kind of see that all heading. Um, and then on the flip side, you have Jean Grey, who's, who was sporting her like old school Phoenix outfit. Mm-hmm. So I think in they're going to head that route with that. It's all foreshadowing. Yeah. Foreshadowing of the Phoenix. And then like, we keep seeing the Phoenix in the intro to begin yeah. with. We also see apocalypse. So maybe they're going to, I, I don't see apocalypse happening anytime soon. Or I think eventually we'll probably end up at age of apocalypse. I don't see that just happening. Well, we keep, we keep mentioning horsemen as well, as well. Like the horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah. So. yeah. True. True. I mean, and then at some point we gotta bring Gambit back to life. So, like, so where do we go from here? Yeah, I think maybe they they go to Phoenix Force route. The Phoenix comes back, gets split, in, or or maybe they even get split, but like splits her powers between the X Men. Yeah, yeah. So we got maybe like Phoenix Force, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, uh, Nightcrawler, you, Wolverine, Wolverine, and possibly Rogue. Rogue and, then and then that's Rogue. how they bring back Gambit. Gambit. And you think Gambit's? You think Gambit's gonna be Death because he died? The maybe, death maybe. yeah, I can see that. Well, didn't we also didn't we see him like in Professor's dream? Like he turned to a skeleton, right? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. the first one to kind of die. And really then, in, died yeah, in, in it, when he was in the Shi'ar and like he was up there doing his thing, and then the gamma shows up, and then boom, he went to the skeleton. One more, more foreshadowing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that I mean, that that's I think I think Bastion right now is kind of like almost getting pushed aside like yeah yeah you were cool for a little bit but like we got some bigger <laughs> shit going on like we got some major some major arts going on that are probably going to overshadow you and so you're going to be like you're taking a back seat for a while um he even though he was there with Miss Sinister, it was cool to see him as you uh, you know you to see him get down and, and fight uh, he, he was the uh he was the igniting spark that leads to like everything yeah. we're going to see for like the next probably three seasons right that yeah like because we see like this battle between humans and mutants and we got to a point like by the end of the x-men where there's like maybe like some cohesion between mutants and humans like we're getting we're all getting along it doesn't mm-hmm. seem so bad but then yeah we needed that spark to say like you know what fuck y'all <laughs> uh, i'm down for my homies uh down for my squad and you know fuck your squad so we just needed to get that that breaking point back so then i saw i, so I think Bastion played his role and played it good, right? Yeah, but, it's like it's like you think Balrog, Balrog is tough, then you fight Vega and then and sag it, and then you go to Bison. Like, well, there's there's tougher by yeah. tougher bosses, you know. <laughs> I think that's tough. So yeah, so Bastion probably played his part, but yeah, no, nah, I, I see that. Uh, do you do you have any like major protections for season two? Uh, yeah, I mean, I we you can't end. You can't, everything can't be wrapped up in half an hour next week. It's just there's no way, <laughs> there's no way it can be wrapped up in half an hour. Um, there has to be there. There will be some storylines wrapped up. I think that. Bastion and Sinister will be stopped for the most part, and and I think if you mention Phoenix Force um, with Jean Grey dying, either Manly Pryor doesn't step in and and stop Cable from shooting um, Jean Grey and say because he says he's told her you're not my mother, or Jean Grey is gonna eat it at the beginning of the episode, or you'll see her body at the end of the episode. 
she rises the Phoenix, take out Bastion and Sinister, and then they'll move on to they'll they'll that's all they'll they'll cut up they'll end that they'll stop that end, and then type that let type that loose end. My apologies, and then they'll go to um, onslaught, and then they'll Phoenix Force, and yeah, I think that'd be cool at the very end if if uh, Phoenix rises up, you know, from out of nowhere, and then you she takes out Bastion and Sinister, or or you kind of puts them in their place or what have you, and then she says something in the way of like. Can't do this. It's not just it's not just me. It's all of us. And then you see like eyes light up on you know the X Men that we mentioned. Mm, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, like the eyes light up. Yeah. So there's are they gonna zoom into like Gamma's coffin and his eyes like light up? <laughs> like he's like, he's gonna use the what they're gonna do right the the Phoenix Force and then the head rise from your grave. The, uh, <laughs> uh, Marvel zombies because Gamma's gonna be a zombie. Yeah. And he's gonna pass that zombieism to. Other <laughs> that'd be that'd be that'd be that'd be that'd a, be the real twist, right? That'd, that'd be, be the pivot that would nobody saw coming. Yeah, that, that'd be what are what are fun storylines from that? I mean, there's so many. Oh them. no, Rogue will kiss Gambit because she thinks that he is <laughs> doesn't have his power because he's dead. Turns into a zombie and then they go. Ah, then they go. She's the real, she's patient zero. She is. is late, she should be Lady Death. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'd be actually a cool route to go. Yeah, uh, or they can go the because because you you mentioned earlier Age of Apocalypse, right? Yeah. Well, what about Magneto? I mean, we've never seen a. I mean, we did see Magneto as a horseman in a. The can we really have movie. that many Omega and make it level like a horseman? I mean, jeez. I mean, and that's yeah. like over. I think in that <laughs> I think in that case you would over you would overshadow Apocalypse in that case. Like, you'd be you'd be more powerful yeah. than Apocalypse. I, I, I mean that then they'd be a fight for power. Yeah, like, so, so I, maybe like, I'm, par- I'm more powerful than you. Why? Why are you leading? Why am I a horseman and you're? And why? Why are you? So, so it would have to be like a sin. Well, we can't have another sinister apo- age of apocalypse horseman, right? Because now he's already because like they kind of like overuse sinister in a season, so he can't be a horseman too, right? Yeah. So you'd have to okay. So who would the horseman be? You have like maybe Lady, Lady Death or yeah. Gambit Death. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Wolverine is there, right? Cyclops, I'll be for, for Gene. For Cyclops has to be one. So, yeah, Cyclops is actually a horseman, huh? Yeah, yeah, an Age of Apocalypse. So who would be the? F- and only I'm only going by, only going by uh, X Men we've seen in the show currently. So that's where we're going. Yeah, by. Not, yeah. not people who've been in the comics. So what we've seen, um, I uh, I say maybe color. Morph, but I don't know. No, nah, because Morph, nah. And they can't bring an Ar- they can't bring an Archangel or anything because they haven't yeah, seen you, Angel. You can't have seen or Ice Man or anything like that, even though he's Omega as well. Maybe Bish. No, because Bish is the anti Apocalypse, right? That'd be kind of weird too. Dark Beast? No, he's not. He's never been a, po- a horseman. He was always just a scientist. Mm-hmm. That was in the that was in the actual Age of Apocalypse. Age of Apocalypse. It's not the uh, where they have anyway. Um, let's see what our Phoenix. See, we uh, AVX has been hinted at heavily. They, they've seen we've seen Doctor Doom. We've seen Baron Zemo. We saw Captain seen America. Captain America. The Hulk. <laughs> we saw the Hulk in you know morph form, but. We saw Red Hulk. Thunderbolt Ross also. Yeah. So we saw, yeah, Red, Red Hulk. So they, they, they just keep implying that... So these, Spider-Man, Spider-Man as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, these Avengers exist out there in some type of form, right? So yeah, mm-hmm. like, uh, I know you mentioned this earlier as well in a previous take. Uh, sword. So yeah. we might see some sword. So we might see some... Shi'ar. Nick Fury. We might see some Shi'ar. Um, so, we, so here's a question. Here's, here's the ultimate question everyone What's wants up? to know. Nick Fury. Black or white? <laughs> oh, they got they, they got they they can't they have to do ultimate Nick Fury. That'd yeah, they ultimate Nick Fury, Nick yeah. Fury Junior. They can't uh, they can't do Hasselhoff Nick Fury like in the like in, like in the movies like the old movie. Yeah, um, they do Sam Jackson. Yeah, they, they can't. They it, it'd be it'd be too. There would be there would be so much of a blowback on why he wasn't black. Yeah, that there'd be I, an honestly, issue. Black Nick Fury has always been more popular than white Nick Fury. No, no yeah. one even gave a fuck about Nick Fury up until he was black. Yeah. Now he's actually a cool character. Like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that's uh, so that's our, our look at this episode of, uh, what was the name of it again, Dre? Extinctions, just damn it. <laughs> I, I was trying to do it for, I, I, I'm trying not to look. Tolerance is Extinction Part 2. Yeah, I, okay. I remember it now. Um, that was just me giving Dre a hard time. All right. Uh, so next season, next next episode, we'll we'll see what happens. See how it ends. We'll be right back here. Same bad time, same bad channel to tell you what happened. Just the what do you think? You're gonna be excited? I thought I, I'll be excited just to see because and then we'll be like, what the fuck, man? Where's where season two at? Yeah, you've already done it already. I mean, where's, where's these that? last two episodes have been pretty good, so this one has to like, this can't be like Revenge of the Sith. This has to be like better. This has to be like Terminator Two status. So we'll see. Okay, we're at that level. All right, guys. On that note, we shall see you later. Peace.